All right, so I had to make a little bit of a shim because the tapered, the tapered shaft on the drag link was kind of, it wouldn't get tight enough and it would kind of wobble in there. It wasn't terrible, but it was enough to bother me. So I took a piece of uh, like copper pipe clamp that's meant to like hold a piece of pipe down against the wall, like a quarter inch piece, and just cut it, shaped it, fit it in there. And then I put the, put the shaft in, kind of drove it in to get it to press itself in there. And now it fits nice and snug. Uh, and again, you don't need to worry about it loosening up on you because it does have a castellated nut that you put um, a pin through. And it tightens down nicely and that's not going to move. Um, so I think I'm good. I'm going to go reinstall it now and we'll get back and see how it looks. All right, so there's a new drag link. Fits great. I got to just put um, the pins to the castle nuts. You know, but I got everything hooked back up again. The pins on that one. Looks like I got plenty of clearance. And if I go and grab the steering wheel, there is like zero play in this thing. I can't really see it, but the slightest move of the steering wheel goes translates into the pitman arm moving so there's a lot less play you know i took up all the slack and everything and i think this thing's going to be nice and solid on the road just make sure that the drag link doesn't hit anything yeah it clears the axle Back the other way. That was just a tie rod hitting the exhaust pipe that's on the ground. Let's see, I clear the shock. Yes, all right. Nice. Cool, that's good. All right, that concludes the uh, drag link. Now remember, I had to uh, open up the hole on this one with a reamer. And then this one, the hole was actually too big, so I had to shim it a little bit. Uh, but again, it's nice and tight. There's no wobble. Everything's good. All right, so that's it. Thank you.